Welcome to our introduction of the latest release of Lumerica's Photonic Integrated Circuit Simulator, Interconnect. In this video, I'll highlight some of the new features available in Interconnect version 4. The new release includes high-performance computing improvements, enhanced integration with third-party tools such as Mentor Graphics and MATLAB, support for advanced modulation formats such as QAM and PSK, many improvements and additions to the Element Library, and the ability to do schematic-driven layout with Mentor Graphics' Pixis schematic tool. Multi-threading of the time domain dynamic data flow engine has led to significant speed-ups both in the actual time domain simulation and in the circuit analysis wrap-up stage. In many situations, this leads to a factor of two speed up compared to prior versions. Data monitors are now capable of reading and writing HDF5 files. This can dramatically lower the memory required to run a simulation and the final size of the interconnect project file in analysis mode. It also allows for the possibility of doing post-processing with other tools such as MATLAB if they're capable of reading HDF5 files. New Symbol Mapper, Quantizer, and Data Recovery elements support user-defined and standard advanced modulation formats such as MRA, QAM, and PSK. The iDiagram analyzer in earlier versions of Interconnect was sufficient for analyzing simple modulation schemes, but it is not sufficient for these more advanced schemes. In Interconnect 4, the vector signal analyzer allows for the characterization of amplitude and phase modulated signals, as we see here. We're also able to extract a number of standard signal quality metrics. There are many new and improved elements in the Element Library. For the complete list, please see our online knowledge base. Finally, I want to give a demonstration of the new feature that allows users to create an interconnect circuit schematic and run the simulations directly from Mentor Graphics Pixis. We'll start by opening the Pixis Schematic Editor, and then we begin to create our circuit. We can add a series of elements such as grading couplers, Y branches, and so on, which we'll use to create our simple mox ender device. Once we have the elements in place, we can connect them using the wiring tool. Once the components are connected, we can label the input and output nets. We'll also add ports to provide connectivity for hierarchical designs. Next, we add the waveguide components to our schematic layout. Next, we enter simulation mode and select interconnect. We'll also select an Eldo Spice type model and finish setting the simulation parameters. In this case, we'll be using an optical network analyzer to perform the frequency domain analysis. When the simulation is complete, the output will be saved to a CSV file, which can then be visualized using the EasyWave viewer. Okay, that's our new feature review. Thanks for joining us in this presentation. For more information, please visit our website. You can also contact us at sales or support at lumerical.com. Thanks.